Thanks a lot, Natalie. Guess what? High school football beginning to start off this week. We got games starting, I think, even tonight. There's a game, yeah, there's yeah, a game tonight. All tonight all right. uh, but there's another game <laughs> that happens <laughs> Friday night, it. right? At Memorial Stadium. Stadium. A little small game. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not small if you're from Saline County. We're That's talking right. about the Salt Bowl. Bryant against Benton. The Panthers against the Hornets. That's right. I did get it right, right? You did get it right. For some reason in my head, I was thinking Yellow Jackets you the last you're second. You're a Panther. Oh, man. Well, you're I, just used to Panthers. I am a Panther. Cabot Panther. 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 I remember the first time Cabot played Bryant uh, back when we were 4A and 3A schools. Oh, yeah. And yeah, it was like, who's days. Bryant? Never heard of Bryant. And then all of a sudden, Bryant's this big, huge mega school yeah. now. Well, let's talk about the softball. The, the Bryant and Ben have been playing for years, but it's really, this is like, what, the 20th year we've actually had the name the softball? softball. And this is the 45th year that they've actually been playing and we actually had the the uh, coach who made the phone call mm -hmm. to, the, to the Benton coach to create the rivalry. Uh, he's going to be one of our honorary captains and then the head coach of Bryant will be one of our captains and then the son of the late Benton head coach uh, will be a, one of our captains. So we're kind of celebrating the 45th year Ooh. this year. Shane, do you know what the record stands at right now? Uh, Benton still holds the lead. I think mm -hmm. it's like 24-19 and 2. But Bryant's been there. catching up here in the Bryant's last few years. Bryant's won the last, oh, probably 10 or 11. Uh, wow. I was at it, yesterday. it was really yeah. lopsided then at it one was. point. Growing up, I mean, Benton, you know, won every year. In fact, I think they won like 13 years in a row. So everybody in Bryant's like, why did we ever ask to play yeah. this? Well, now <laughs> the tables have yeah. turned. Tables right? have turned. Started about 1999, Bryant really kind of won their the first one in a string of uh, victories. When I was a kid, it was just kind of one every once in a while. Yeah. But Benton. Now, this game is Dumbly. Friday night, War Memorial Stadium, right? right? It has to be held there because there's not a stadium in Saline County that can hold this. That's right. I mean, I really, you will see a crowd there uh, Friday night. Probably, uh, well, probably the biggest, it's going to be the biggest high school crowd of the season. Yes. Even the, yeah. some of the state championship games, yeah. it's bigger than that. It is. And it rivals a really bad Razorback football <laughs> game, too, uh, is what it rivals there. But what does this game mean for the for Saline County? Well, I was talking to a former player uh, this weekend and, and asked him, I said, what was it like, to, you know, to be able to play? And mm -hmm. he said it was an unforgettable moment. It's something I'll always remember the rest of my life, running out of that tunnel to a crowd, you know, 20,000 people, 30,000 people, and, and that's really what it's about. It's about creating a memory for these kids, uh, whether they're on the team and the band, just a student. It's mm -hmm. something they'll always remember, uh, you know, being in a War Memorial Stadium, and so it means a lot to our community because we come together to celebrate two great schools. We have a lot of, you know, tailgate party with vendors and food, and we're going to give away a lot of prizes, and, and we also do a lot of work with this game for charity. Now, is there a centralized location for the tailgate party? Yeah, it's going to be on the east side parking mm -hmm. lot. So as you, if you're on the east side, there's that big parking lot along the east side. We're going to have vendors, uh, probably 40 to 80 vendors out there. We're going to have Pity Jean hot dogs for free. I mean, mm. Dairy Queen's going to be set up. Hello. Uh, giving away ice cream sandwiches. I mean, it's the Dairy Queen tailgate party, so we should have ice cream <laughs> They sandwiches. should, right? So, so we we're going to have a lot. Uh, Just put them on the spot. Lot. Exactly. <laughs> uh, tell me now. about the raising money for charity, though. <laughs> yeah. uh, for Goodwill. Uh, Goodwill is one of our uh, charity partners. Take your goods, buy Goodwill, the Benton store or the Bryant store. Everything's a competition. So if you're a Benton fan or Bryant fan, take it and buy the Goodwill store. You have store to tell them who you're town. for, though, right? Tell them, you know, I'm here for Benton, here for Bryant. Take your goods, clothes, you know, clean out your closets. Uh, take a jar of peanut butter to your favorite school. Or you can drop it off. At so that the peanut butter locations. is a competition. Peanut the Goodwill is a competition. And then we'll have a blood drive oh, at, the two, at the two high schools in September between the two high schools. And there's a, tro oh, there's so a trophy for everything. Even after Friday night, it's not over. It's not it's over. It's never over. Just getting started. <laughs> wow. The whole time box out saying, hey, what about us, yeah. guys? Yeah. <laughs> Shane, thanks right, for being here with us this Appreciate morning. Appreciate you. Thanks, And hey, we'll be right back after the break.